Hey everybody and welcome to Cosmic Potato, the super fan talk podcast. My name is Sean Ray and I find it odd that people get really angry if you bump their bumper. I mean, that's what it's named, bumper. Anyway, <laughs> joining, me, no. joining me this week on the podcast, we have Jen. How's it going? Oh, it's going all right, but I'm pretty sure I'm from this universe. I'm, uh, are you guys from this universe? I'm, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a variant. I don't know where I came from. <laughs> Dave, what about you? Where uh, where are you from? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's it's so hard to say. You know, I would think I was from this universe, but then again, you know, everything that I like, people are like, eh, wait, what's wrong with you? So maybe not. Maybe I'm from some other universe. <laughs> and Rick, how's it going, sir? I'm from Earth Pi R squared. <laughs> All right, so this week we're going to jump right into our uh, topic of the evening. Whenever Marvel releases a big movie, we like to take an opportunity to break it down. We put it off a couple of weeks because we didn't want to spoil it for people that haven't had a chance to see it yet. But if you happen to have not seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and you don't want to be spoiled, then don't listen to this episode until after you have. So there's a spoiler Which at this point you. if you haven't read the title of the episode <laughs> yeah no i'm just na- i'm just naming this episode what is this about uh, yeah <laughs> so, all right so tonight we will be talking about dr strange and the multiverse of madness starring benedict cumberbatch elizabeth olsen and i'm not going to try to pronounce her name i have this so chill that's how you pronounce her first name because it's spelled x-o-c-h-i-t-l-e gomez uh she's she's the girl that played uh america chavez america chavez america chavez there you go that that sounds Um, like a a aztec name isn't it or aztec or inca definitely central american uh written by michael waldron and directed of course by sam raimi so evil dead four (laughs) woohoo So I I seriously enjoyed this movie. I it was it was the first time that I felt that they brought in a director that I knew and let them be themselves because um, you know the first Ant Man was supposed to be directed by uh, the guy Edgar that did Wright. Hot, hot yeah he did the Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead and all that and uh, and famously they wanted him to do what they wanted instead of what he wanted to do which it wouldn't have looked like an Edgar Wright movie. You know, it would have looked like a Marvel cookie cutter movie. And uh, you're wrong. Yeah. So this time they brought in Sam Raimi and they let him be Sam Raimi. You know, I'm I'm sure he's going to let anyone sit on him at this point in his career. Eh. I'm I'm sure if you've seen, if you've seen Mm -hmm. movies like um, um, drag me to hell, he could have been Sam raimi than he was. (laughs) <laughs> but he uh he reined himself back quite a bit i mean you know he said that there's a there's a two hour and 40 minute cut that oh, really surprised me yeah, yeah. The, and but he also said you know that marvel wants he talked a lot about how marvel wants to like hone it down and make it the best movie it can be so you know he said that everything that they every note they gave him was from love love of the characters you know so I don't know if he's just towing a line. I don't know what yeah. he's, you know, he's probably under contract, but I love the hell out of what we got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it was, it, uh, it was, uh, it, it, I didn't stay completely away from trailers. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't watch the last, uh, the last trailer that came out. So I saw a TV spot and I heard Patrick Stewart's voice. That's how I knew mm-hmm. that Patrick Stewart was yeah. going to be in the movie. I had not seen that trailer yet. And, um, I, so I went in pretty cold. I was interested in in how it would play out because uh, Strange had this role in No Way Home, but No Way Home was supposed to come out after this movie. Mm. This movie was supposed to come out immediately after WandaVision was released or mm-hmm. ended, you know, and it didn't work out that way hey, because COVID. of yeah, because of mm-hmm. COVID and all that kind of stuff. Well, but, not just that, but Scott Derrickson left that he had problems with marvel like they didn't get along so he yeah. left and then he? they he was the first <laughs> he, he like wrote the story and the initial story and was the director for dr strange oh, and then okay. like they wound up going yeah they, and they wound up reshooting like 80 percent of the movie from what yeah. i understand 
Mm-hmm. Jim, what did okay. you think of the movie? I enjoyed it. I it was funny that a lot of people were bitching that it's too short when they were pitching the other direction before with some of the other movies, like mm-hmm. Infinity War being too long. I'm like, make a decision, it's people. It's two hours, <laughs> it's two hours long. How it's long two hours it? long. It was well, actually is it two hours? I thought it was an hour and a half. No, it was two, it's no, like two it was... hours and four minutes or something like something that. Something like that. Well, that's pretty short for a lot of these Marvel movies that have been coming out, but like Infinity War was almost three freaking hours long. Um, so people need to make a decision. Like you either want it really short or you want it really long. What do you want? Okay. You can't please anybody. <laughs> that's the two hours and six minutes. Okay. It feels like two hours and twenty minutes is the appropriate time. Something like if you that. if you go over two hours and twenty minutes, suddenly you're like it's too long, and then if you go below that, it's like it's like a kids movie. It's like yeah. ninety minutes, like 90 <laughs> minutes yeah. Um, but overall, I there were a couple of things I was expecting to happen from the what ifs because they did tie into the what ifs a little bit with certain characters, which I'm sure we'll discuss. Hey, John's here. Too long. It's John Irons. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You probably didn't even hear you say that, but okay. Um, uh, he's giving me the evil eye. <laughs> he was like, I'll join you for Dr. Strange. I can't listen to Dave and Rick talk anymore about canon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my favorite. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the film. I actually enjoyed that they went with, you know, the two main characters. They love each other but can't be together kind of thing i i was fine with that um but yeah i was hoping they'd do a little bit more tie into what if with uh, a certain character that we'll discuss i'm sure in a bit but um otherwise i i was happy with the cameos that they had in that in the section with the illuminati um i was happy with the story overall uh, they actually stayed pretty close to how america chavez is in the comic books uh and uh i thoroughly enjoyed it so there you go all right rick what about you i you know i know nothing about the lore uh you know he was data's brother yeah Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) that lore Um, yeah you know until the first doctor strange movie i knew nothing about doctor strange other than that there was a character named doctor strange um my wife is a big marvel fan and so I knew there was no chance of not seeing this movie. Um, and a lot of the buzz I had seen about it was that it was boring. And so, you know, I had seen people, you know, like tweets from the middle of the film, like, is this goddamn movie over yet or whatever? And so I went in, as I usually do with these, with, with Marvel films, with low to no expectations. I love this film. It was fun as hell. Um, and Y'all know me. I don't like multiverse stories. I hate the way DC handles multiverse stuff. Um, and, and I figured out during this film what the difference is. Because in DC, it's like, oh, this guy died. Let's go get his counterpart from Earth-24 and bring him back. And he's just a little bit quirkier and we're good. Um, <laughs> you, know, no, you know, no stakes. That's um, not DC. That's just The Flash. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> C- CWDC. Okay. So, yeah, that's just the Flash. But in but in the but in the MCU, dealing with the multiverse hurts like hell. <laughs> it's like a very bad thing to do, and I think I'm that's that's what takes the curse off of it for me. Um, I I I like the character of, of Stephen Strange. Uh, I I like I love the Illuminati. It was funny because, um, what what's the dude that that with the, the tuning fork on his head, black fork or something that's, like black that? Bolt. That's black, black bolt. Black bolt. Black bolt. Okay, Captain Anson Pike. Mack. Anson Mack. Captain but Pike. the thing is, I didn't realize it was Anson Mount. I was like, is that Chris? P- is that Chris Pine? I recognized him as a Star Trek captain, but I didn't quite place him right. Okay, yeah, Anson Mount. Like, Anson Mount played that character in the Inhuman. And that awful, awful, yeah, absolutely. but I, I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. is Inhuman. You did not miss yeah. anything. Yeah. So. No. Also. Yeah. It I makes have... me throw and want to throw up just thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, you know, I think the Fantastic Four needs to be abandoned. I think they need to stop trying to make it work because, uh, it, and and my wife has heard this, and I apologize, honey, you've heard me say this ad, ad nauseum. Um, 
the origin of the Fantastic Four is so 50s that I don't think they've ever been able to make it work in a modern audience. But that dude, and I, I know I can't remember. John Krasinski. His name. John Krasinski. Yeah. As Reed Richards, I was like, I am so there if he's Reed Richards in a Fantastic Four movie. Um, but this movie was fun. It, it was paced beautifully. Uh, the action was great. The CG for the for the most part was beautiful. That octopus was amazing at the beginning. You know, mm-hmm. there were a few scenes where where the the CG wasn't great. But look at the credits. There's like 400 people doing CG. So if a couple of the scenes aren't quite perfect, oh well. Um, I I I I, I love Wong. What's it? No, Wu. Uh, his, Wong. His, yeah. Wong. Wong. Yeah. Yeah. I I love him. Played and by I Benedict Wong. Enjoy Wall. him whenever he's on, <laughs> on screen. America Chavez was fun. Um, there was nothing about this movie I didn't like. I really enjoyed every minute of it. I would love to see a Fantastic Four movie with John Krasinski and Emily Blunt as Sue uh, Storm. Mm-hmm. As Storm. Yeah, as yeah. Storm. They, they yeah. just need to work out a better origin because going into space and being exposed to cosmic rays just oh, makes you I'm just, Skip the, <laughs> skip, skip, <laughs> skip the, the origin. Thing. Just yeah, give just, me a Fantastic there Four. Are, there are already the Fantastic Yeah, four. don't give me an origin. And, and I've, I've said this before. We don't need origins for these things. We know. We don't care. You can, re- I don't you can care. refer to it or whatever. You know. Right. Do you can the have flashback. I think in the, in the case of Fantastic Four, they might not be as well known, even with three movies out in the last 20 years. Uh, they might need the, the cosmic rays. But I think the biggest problem is they keep trying to like change it to make it not the cosmic rays because they're like, that's dumb. No, just do freaking cos. Don't call them cosmic rays, but just do it. Well, just do it. Every time they do doom, he's awful. <laughs> yeah, they always try to come up with like some like, oh, well, let's make him like uh, Norman Osborn. <laughs> no, don't make him Norman Osborn. They like in that first Fantastic Four, I'm just sitting there going, this is this is the, the this is this is from Spider Man. This he, he might as well have been Will Defoe. Like th- yeah. there's the board yeah. members firing him. Like, what is happening? <laughs> that's oh, a, I mean, and, that's the same and, way that the Hulk got his powers. Gamma rays. I mean, gamma, yeah. <laughs> if the, they the, do the, Doom the, proper, where he is like a scientist and also makes a deal with the devil and like becomes like very proficient at magic, like that's yeah. dope. We've Stop already got trying to make him this. sympathetic. Just make him evil and yeah. just go with it. Well, the, you the can one make him I, sympathetic because he sold his soul to the devil because he wanted to save his mother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the one thing I meant to, I, I, I forgot to say <laughs> in my overall thing is Sorry. I love Scarlet Witch as a villain. Mm-hmm. She was I good. I just yeah. absolutely loved her in this movie. I, I, the, the, the way she portrayed walking the edge of insanity was beautiful mm-hmm. you know i used to say that you know jack nicholson had the best crazy eyes of any actor i've ever seen elizabeth olsen has taken that throne <laughs> yeah i released a uh i put a meme out today that had uh had a picture of elizabeth olsen as scarlet witch and right below it and robert danny jr from tropic thunder and he said, <laughs> he said you went full bad guy you never go full bad guy <laughs> you never go full bad guy <laughs> all right uh who has it gone john what'd you think i liked it it's good <laughs> okay. okay uh i I'm glad you could be here john i did not <laughs> i did not expect um and maybe i should have uh as much ramey as he he ramied the ramey out of this movie. Oh yeah, yeah like, for sure. I, I figured it would be, you know, like um, like Ragnarok is a Marvel movie seen through the eye of Taika, but this mm-hmm. was a Ramy movie <laughs> <laughs> that Marvel let them do. Yeah. Um, I agree with you, Rick. I I, I thought the pace. I can I tell you how much I appreciate that they didn't make it a mystery mm-hmm. that they didn't string out for half of the movie, who the bad guy was. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked that honestly, until the last scene or the last um, act, the last, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you, I still wasn't sure if which way strange was going to go because I'm sure the other strange had all the best intentions too. <laughs> um 
I like that uh, I couldn't avoid all the spoilers, but I avoid most of them. Um, which is so that's like that's like my new. <laughs> that's that's like my only impetus really to see movies like this quickly is because I have to see them before I get spoiled on them. Like, you know, at this point, you know, they like all the scenes are up now. Like just all the stills are up. Um, you know, all of the surprise cameos yeah. Are, yeah, are, yeah. are out. Uh, so you've got a good maybe two weeks. You can push it maybe to two weeks before you just know everything. Oh, three days um, before it was released, I signed onto Twitter not thinking and like the first thing on my screen was like a shot of John Krasinski and the rest of the Illuminati. And I went, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, I, just, I just saw that today or yesterday, like seeing the whole Illuminati. I managed to avoid seeing Bruce Campbell which well he's in every Sam Raimi movie that's yeah, like exactly yeah. but it's still I would have been Bruce Campbell in the car <laughs> yeah I didn't I was, see the car what was oh the car? the car the car when they went to the universe where everything was dripping and floating the car oh, was floating oh I didn't even catch I didn't that. catch that no. yeah big yellow car right in the center of the screen mm-hmm. um I actually I, I may be in the minority here but the um I would have preferred the standard Marvel uh, CGI facial effects as opposed to the uh, Raimi monster zombie strange <laughs> face. I get it. I know it's his thing, but it looked like Evil Dead, and I yes, it could have. I, 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 I was it shouldn't have. I, I, I can't even say it shouldn't have. That. It was I, it was a choice. Yeah, I get the choice. It's not like it ruined the movie for me, but given the bar that Marvel has set, um, you know, with what we know that they can do to faces, make them look old, make them look young, make them look all sorts of ways. Mm-hmm. Um, he could have, he could have, he could have, he could have caved on that one. It, it still could have looked like his same design, but it didn't have to be like paked, pancaked, you know. It, it three was inches the off of his of actual the Raimi moments in the film. Yeah, three inches off of his actual face. I'm like, it doesn't yeah. look like him anymore. Like you could have done this <laughs> with the computer, but everything else, um, oh, that was great. Love the love the love the ending. Love the third eye. Was not expecting it. Yeah. Thought it was great. And I don't know. Um, I know of most of the, uh, that's that's the thing. Like we're at the point in Marvel. You know, I basically quit reading, you know, like in the 90s, you know, early 2000s. So we're at the point of the story past like what I've read, but I just kind of know about second or third hand. So I don't really know who, um, oh, what is her name? The Who appeared at the end. Charlize Theron's character. Charlize Theron. She's what? eventually going to be his wife actually it. in the comic book. It's, it's like, we, we had to look like, it up. My, my wife Clea. is like Clea. Clea, Clea. Clea. I, I yeah. On, she's going to eventually be his wife. Yeah. Yeah. I keep wanting to call her Luna. And, and here's the thing. Like a lot of my knowledge now is because we played the uh, Marvel Lego game. <laughs> and there's like literally every Marvel character in that. It's, it's all like, you know, most of them I can identify to my son. And he's like, who's the, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I guess she's magic. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot a lot of them i know well she's just, actually a sorcerer supreme from a different universe yeah it, i know that now i'm if saying my wife i, I doesn't know, know who it is it's obscure because like she's 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 the one like in star trek when something weird happens she's like what happened and i explained it to her with marvel stuff it's the other way around like, so she's mm, crying that? She's, she's like i don't know we have to look it up when we get home. Yeah. <laughs> i know i know of the character vaguely and i know of the illuminati Mm-hmm. Um, but I've never read a comic with them in it. I just know who they are and what they do. And I think that was only because I was, um, you know, I, I went through a rabbit hole when Loki ended. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think that's yeah. I think that's where I first read about him. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, overall, solid, fun, action, horror movie with heart. Raimi, classic Raimi and all that that entails. Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. And I'm hoping that... Um, people who have never heard of dark man will check it out now i love that movie so much i like the oh, stuff dark. uh when when the strange from uh the other earth was with chavez at the beginning and he tried to the, take the her power but, yeah tried to kill her and tried to take her power i could see our strange doing that and i think he would have done that 
if Christine hadn't said at the beginning of the movie, you're always the one that has to be holding the knife. Mm-hmm. That, no. Yeah, I think. I think yes. he definitely would have done that. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think I think this movie, like, you know, the, the events in this movie made him not do that. I, I agree with you completely. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know really until the very end which way he was going to go with it. Uh, she's like, uh, just like, you know, I trust him. I'm like, I don't know if you should. <laughs> yeah, when, they're, when they're fighting he's kind of a dick they're fighting the octopus demon when chavez finally comes to the to earth 616 as they call it in this movie which earth 616 is supposed to i thought that the mcu was supposed to be a different earth than the actual it is. comic book it is earth so yeah so um but and it might be overall six yeah so like you're, they, you're, you're, you're towing up to the cannon line don't even <laughs> don't think too hard <laughs> it might it might be overall it's just that you know that earth's illuminati had deemed it 616 mm-hmm. and then at some point they could bring in the council of reeds and they'll be like actually no 616 <laughs> here this earth is whatever yeah it's like earth 9999 or I, something yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. i hate how quickly she took them out i get it she is her yeah but it would it's like you know i kind of hate how quickly or how long it took for her to take them out well it, it, it could have been a cooler fight she's the one that says no more mutants and like oh, i like, know <laughs> the whole world changes i can't i, I can't expect him to find out that oh, somebody else stuff, is controlling yeah. her and uh, uh y- y'all lost me who are you talking about Scarlet Witch. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch okay. when she killed the Illuminati. Yeah, because oh, because okay. in the she in is the super comics, powerful. Yeah, in like, the comics not... they had this whole like House of M thing when she literally like just snapped her fingers and suddenly the whole world changed and like some mutants were no longer mutants, other mutants became mutants, dead people came back. Uh, her ca- dogs and cats it? living together. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> See, this is why I don't read the goddamn comics because this shit gives me a headache. <laughs> it gave well, us a headache when we were reading it. <laughs> I kept expecting to find out that somebody else was controlling her. Uh, then we get to the the battle that she that she has with the with all the sorcerers. What I can't remember what that place is called, where the 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 Minotaur was and all that kind of stuff. Armitage. Yeah. And she's yeah, that- straight, oh man, she's straight up killing people. I didn't like, think that she was controlled. I mean, I figured she was corrupted by the dark hold, but yeah. you know, I the scene where you know Xavier goes into her mind, and I thought I was like, oh, okay, so she can be saved. Like she could, like the, the real wand is in there somewhere, he just has to remove or fight the dark hold influence like no nope. <laughs> no he, he he did that and when he was doing that i was like it didn't work when you did it to gene gray why yeah, you think it's gonna I work was, I, I was, well this is a different example maybe this one did it. this is, i was uh, just, still Thanos. i was maybe just they got a whole other history i had managed to not i i have i pulled a john irons and i managed to not hear see any spoilers from this film so when when we heard xavier i was like I know that voice. That's the one that I <laughs> Who heard. doesn't? I mean, what did that's you the think? One that uh, I because when he comes in, he's in that yellow chair. And he's they're in play- the chair from the comic. And they, and they play in uh, the animated. They, they play yes. the animated so thing. thing. Yeah. So yes, good. it was like, great. Is this supposed to be Professor X from the cartoon? Like, this is that. It might this be. Is that I'm going to say it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, that they lifted that design out of the Jim Lee comic. So. I mean, yeah, but the music, yeah, but with the music, with the music added, because they, yeah. they could have played the X Men movie music. They yeah, could have, but, but they played the X Men cartoon music. Yeah, which but, I, mean, I mean, this is not the first time we've seen <laughs> Professor X get killed on screen. I mean, he's died like four times. In these yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, uh, Jason and I just did a um, a Patreon review for Doctor Strange, and we haven't posted it yet, but uh, you have to pay to hear this. Okay. You, yeah, you don't have to pay to hear this. <laughs> but uh, I was saying, like, you know, I didn't feel the emotional strain on uh, seeing Xavier's next step. I'm like, you know how many times no. I've seen Patrick Stewart die as Xavier? Yeah, it was fine. You like throw on top of that how many times he's died as Picard? I'm just like, eh. <laughs> right? just like eh. it was funny that Pat- Patrick Stewart and Anson Mount were both in that scene in the same day that that movie came out. The finale of Picard and the premiere of Strange New Worlds came yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually didn't. That. I actually didn't know that that was Anson Mount. Um, really? Mm-hmm. No, in the movie, no, I, I didn't. I, I said because, the same thing because you can't really. I mean, you can see stubble. Well, yeah, he's, yeah. I, I thought it was Chris Pine. 
So I was in the right ballpark. No, but they showed that scene where they kill the other strange and he has the mask off. Well, I thought it, I you thought it was her off. I mean, I just didn't notice. Like I was, I I was watching was strange him. disintegrate. I, was, I confirmed my, it my attention afterward, was awesome. but yeah, but I, I thought it was him when I saw it, but, and then when the movie was over, I looked it up just to make sure before I started bragging, Oh yeah, that's Hanson Mount. No, I do have a question. Mm-hmm. We've seen Captain Marvel fly through freaking starships. Mm-hmm. A giant piece of rock falls on her and she's dead. <laughs> different Captain Marvel. Yeah, different that's not the same Captain Marvel. Yeah, different Captain dead. Marvel. And and Maria yes, may have right. a different mindset. I don't know. It, the, uh, well, and and I'm 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 also thinking that <sighs> that wasn't just a rock. That was a magically imbued force of a thousand suns rock that was pressed against her. <laughs> yeah, the, the the thing with Captain Marvel is that there there's different Captain Marvels and they all have different powers and they oh, all right. have they all have different levels of strength. And it's kind of like with Captain America. We have a new Captain America, but he's not nearly as strong as Stephen Rogers was. Right. Mm-hmm. You no, know, because he, right. he never he I'm never just used like, the you know, serum, so. flying through a spaceship has got to be at least as stressful <laughs> as the force that Block would have yeah. that rock. That rock wouldn't have killed Carol Danvers. I don't no. think. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm calling it magic. No. I'm saying it was. Yeah. It's, it had an extra magic push. I mean, I'm, it. It didn't take me out of the movie. You know, I was like, all right, these are these are, you know, universe four ten. We don't care about them, so whatever. Um, but I was just like, when when she went down, I was like, that was kind of easy. Well, and <laughs> they've already they've already said that this version of captain carter is not the one from what if it's a not ca- no not captain carter captain america I, captain I know marvel. captain marvel but captain carter was also in this she's no, the, the way she went if. down was pretty cool i, 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 was I, well, I, I know but they've already said she is not the what if version she's a different one okay Who was i was that? i was impressed with the restraint they used when Peggy Carter got cut in half. I loved when she <laughs> I was expecting that I can do I can out. do this all day. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Clearly she couldn't, but that was no, fun. I was <laughs> like, you shouldn't yeah. have said that because now yeah. she's yeah. definitely not going to. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw the like uh, an interview with the screenwriter, and they were like, Oh, is it the same Captain Carter? And he said, it's I not, hope not. He said, not. I hope mm-hmm. he said, I hope not. Yeah. I didn't no, they, see where they they've said already, that. Con- they've already confirmed that Feige's already confirmed it's not. Okay. Okay, well, Feige confirmed it. Now, I watched, <laughs> I watched all of What If, mm-hmm. which, uh, again, because my wife is more into this than I am, I would, I would have skipped it. Um, but I, I, I get the impression that the What If stuff is not real. Real. <laughs> it's no, it real, is. as in it, it all happens in various it is, other universes. Yeah, it's, 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 it is a part of the MCU. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. The, the that's as real as I can say it is. Yeah. yeah, the one strange that was in the the creepy ass. Yeah, that universe, the one, he, the one that he meets and has the battle with, with notes, which was awesome. Uh, was I kept thinking scene. that was going to be the one from the What If, and I was like, if there's any strange that could actually take Wanda, it would be that one. <laughs> yeah, I, but, I thought the I thought the notes were silly but fun. I love that scene. It was great. That was Raimi. Yeah, that was, uh, very, that, that was very yeah, I loved it. It was very Raimi and I appreciate it. I like yes. <laughs> if you if you if you're a wizard, you should like yes. you're not limited to just making weapons like people or shooting blasts like people. You can do anything. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. limited by your imagination. And, yeah, Doctor Strange so, is basically Green Lantern in the Marvel universe. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's crazy. Now, you know, Something I was really impressed with because I didn't realize it until the credits ran is that the score was by Danny Elfman. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That was the least Danny Elfman, Danny Elfman <laughs> score ever. Well, you know, Danny Elfman has actually said in the past, I'm not working with Sam Raimi anymore. Well, I obviously <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he has said that before. I didn't know that. I don't know. I don't me. know what the, I don't remember what the story was of why it happened, but it was a big deal that he came back and did this movie with him. Hmm. And, and you know what it reminded me of, especially at the beginning when the, the big octopus thing was there, it sounded a lot like the early Godzilla scores. Hmm. That might have been on purpose. Ah, 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 <laughs> sure it was. Uh, according to, this is just some blog that came up. According to this uh, movie blog, 
Bring some Sam Raim, Sam Raimi and Danny Elfman got mad at each other at, over a game of ping pong. What? <laughs> How long ago? <laughs> This was in 2005. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is before that Marvel money started rolling in. I'm sure. He, I'm sure he's really over it. <laughs> I'm sure he's ping fine. pong. Five million dollars. Mm. Now, when the Probably more like oh fifteen million dollars. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the octopus fight at the beginning. I like the the octopus demon, but when I first saw it, I was kind of thinking, didn't Suicide Squad just do this? <laughs> Yeah, but not as well. It was it was a starfish, but anyway. Yeah. I know it was, a, it was a sea creature. It was a one-eyed sea creature, and they and it got killed by getting punctured in the eye. But they pulled. But the how eye. else would you doing that it? since the Odyssey? So yeah, I was about to say they're really just bringing up the. They're just all referencing the key clocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a critter with one big eye. You're gonna poke it in the eye. You have to. <laughs> it's like a target. Asking for it. And Suicide Squad, she just dived into the eye like it was a pool. Yeah. I, I was Her impressed with like yanking it out and like optic nerve and shit. That was really there, there cool. Was that was, I, actually, everybody in the theater when I was watching it, that went, <laughs> Yeah, I was really thinking when I saw that, I was really, I told my wife, it's like, you know, I if he goes drag me to hell in this movie, you're not going to like it very much because <laughs> right. that movie was disgusting. It, it was, yeah. Apparently about half of the internet thought that's what he was going to do and yeah. were furious that he did not. <laughs> I was like, still a Marvel, a Marvel movie. movie. It's still a Marvel movie. Be... But you know, almost, I was, I was thinking as I was uh, preparing my notes for the show that um, almost all the rumors that I heard actually showed up in some form and i mean they did marvel zombies marvel zombies were in the movie yeah uh and then we got reed richards we got professor x we didn't get tom cruise's iron man that, that was, was actually a, they actually filmed they were going to film it and uh, there was a scheduling conflict he actually was going to do it and i found out in a behind the scenes thing they actually got rdj to come back to do a short scene they were gonna have wow. him do it but they, actually what they were gonna do is have him and strange flip in this universe so strange was going to be iron man and rdj was going to be strange that's how they were going to do it in this particular universe and they actually filmed it but they decided to cut it for time so the that only, might be in the two hour and 40 minute cut i don't know <laughs> the only thing that i would that i would complain about is that if you're going to have a movie called the multiverse of madness you would think he would visit more earth's Eh. than he did no. he only went to like three or i mean he went yeah through but like 20 also, of them. he went through like 14 of them yeah, like like through. Through. how tedious would that be though? he turned into like, a cartoon I, I, and he turned into paint no i didn't i would not want to see they went through the right amount of earths because any more than that would like i'd be like okay get on with it we get it and like, one of they, them he they, gets they, there the when one of me gets there and like Green means stop and red means go. It's like sliders did that 25 years ago. <laughs> exactly. I was like, this is yeah. a sliders reference. Come on, man. No one is gonna know that reference but you two. I know. Well, yeah, I, uh, I did. I knew I it. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. The I'm people sorry. on this show. Let me, let me. I I watched one episode of Sliders and went, boy, this is awful. And I never went back. <laughs> You watched a bad episode. Yeah, there were some good ones. Probably. There were some really good ones. There, there were the. You pilot... watched the one where Quinn became a zombie. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, it was at the beginning of the show, and the acting was awful, and I never went back. Well, okay, they also well, had revolving. The acting cast was awful. Members. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't trust the but acting it's... in the nineties. No, a nineties <laughs> sci-fi Fox. show with good acting. No. I mean, nineties mm. sci-fi on Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Given my career, all you've got is premise. There, <laughs> I, I have I have very low tolerance for bad acting. <laughs> okay. So, do you guys I, think? Uh, is, why do you watch uh, Star Trek? I'm like, and love Sam Raimi. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. moving on. All right. Moving on. Is Strange going to keep using the dark hole? I mean, I know all the dark holes were destroyed, but he's he's still not the eye he used it. Now. So, I guess it's like part of him now. I yeah, I think, think he's he still going to use dark magic after this. Sure. I, I mean, hope so. I don't, I don't know if they ever defined anything as dark magic. They use the dark hold and stuff that is dangerous, but like the the, um, the good book didn't seem to be all that much better. So. <laughs> well, it yeah. seemed a lot better. They just never found it. Like it just seems they did find it, just, it, but it got strong. It got destroyed. Yeah. yeah, it's not like it gave anybody you know 
Never mind. They didn't get to use <laughs> it really. I mean, it got yeah. it got burnted. It yeah, did. that didn't that didn't that didn't get full access to it. Pretty vulnerable. <laughs> but I I think he is going to. I mean, clearly he's he's incorporated. You know the 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 magical um, level up that he got with the third eye into himself, and he seems like himself. Um, I so I think I think I I get the sense that the dark hold is like, and if I remember uh, if I remember correctly from Agents of Shield, it 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 is corruptive, but it's like over time. It's not like you. It's not like the One Ring where you touch it and mm. you go bad. Like mm-hmm. you, you know you. It, it tempts you and taunts you and gives you a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And he didn't really have time to turn that way. This it is a Marvel movie. Third eye, yeah. He said, if you use the dark hold, there's going to be some kind of... There's going to be a cost. There's going to be a cost. Yeah, and I guess his cost was growing an eye on his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. The, well, I mean, they're heavily hinting that his corruption is at hand, but it is a Marvel movie. So I fully expect the next time we see Strange to be like, oh... Thank goodness I got rid of that dark hold <laughs> and we'll never go back to this. Like, well, ever. it was already, I mean, he suddenly had the eye and he's like flips out and like this fight. A, a and week of suddenly... kale peck tape and uh, you yeah. know, hanging out in a, in a sweat lodge. I'm all better now. I'm yeah. just saying, like, he was suddenly freaking out and he faints on the ground in the middle of the street. And then suddenly, the very next scene, he's like, oh, I'm cool. Like, well, the <laughs> next scene but it wasn't like the next minute like I'm clearly not... <laughs> some time has passed well, and, he's in coming, marvel he's, new york they've seen some shit so. <laughs> good point yeah. yeah and especially like they know, they know everyone who knows who dr strange is like they're probably like okay somebody's gonna call <laughs> there he goes again <laughs> i'm not advocating for wong to be killed but when but we, but when we thought that he died i thought Okay, so this is how Strange is going to become Sorcerer Supreme again. Because I'm kind of tired of the joke that, oh, I'm not Sorcerer Supreme because I disappeared for five years and Wong got in on a technicality. You know, well, he oh, technically that. died in the first movie and he just turned time back and brought him back. But, but um, eh. <laughs> I also realized when I watched this that I don't like the whole cape being a. a sentient character I shut your mouth love the cape you shut I your mouth right cape. now it turns because it. it turns into it turns into a disney movie whenever the cape shows up so what i mean it is no, a it's disney the carpet movie, but... from aladdin who cares yeah. i love yes, it that is correct. but if they hadn't if they hadn't have, if they hadn't have shown the cape do all that kind of stuff it wouldn't have been like a mirror image of the mm. deadites turning into his cape at the end of yeah <laughs> the souls the of, of the, the damn that was very yeah. rainy that was that a very was so rainy and i i was there for it i loved every minute of that second. yeah but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Sean and I don't like whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you really laughing these. because usually this shit is aimed at me. So I'm in this, this is true. The hey, one spot of levity you. in this dark ass film. <laughs> <laughs> have y'all seen have y'all seen the, the, the cartoon that's been going around Facebook? It's the Trojan horse. Mm-hmm. And inside the Trojan horse, it says Evil Dead 4. And the guy pulling the Trojan horse up to the gates is Sam Raimi, and the gates are Marvel. And oh. I just I saw it and I laughed my ass. It is correct. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Well, technically, they file it. They file it. Remember that you know our lost episode of of the Starbase that we never got to put out because you lost the recording, Rick. We okay. were talking about. I, the I know that, that happened. I don't remember what we talked about. The one that we had Raphael on that that you lost. But oh, uh, that one, yeah. yeah but we were talking about the. Um... He never hit record. <laughs> no, no, he lost it, a recording. It, it, but my, anyway, it was right it, before my computer crashed, and, and I yeah, yeah, he lost a record. Yeah, but anyway, we were talking about. Yeah, Rick, you people. lost it. Oh okay. no, no, no! It wasn't that my computer crashed. That's right. I waited. You waited, and then I you waited lost it. like sixteen days, and. It was before StreamYard switched to a month yeah. of, of recordings lasting. And I went to get the stuff and it was and all it was gone. gone. I lost it was four gone. episodes of shows I'd, I'd recorded. Yeah, and one of them was that one. But we were talking wow. about, during that episode, we were talking about the Evil Dead co-op game that was, it finally came out like last week. It looks so great and I can't play it because I have a Mac now. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so mad. But they got you know Bruce Campbell to voice uh, uh, voice Ash, and they got all, all the four people that are with you are from the movies, and they're voiced by the original actors as well. And, it's and they've a got Kelly. Yeah. Oh, 
but we were talking about it during that show and we lost it. <laughs> I, I believe you. I don't remember it, but I believe you. I did like when uh, when she finally did go into a world where her children were there, which I think didn't. I think they said that every other version of her has her children except yeah. her. Which well, yeah. th- th- well, no, they didn't. They didn't put it quite that way, but they were like, when you go into this other world, what happens to the Wanda that's already there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, she said that. She she's like, I know I'm supposed to have kids because of all the other versions of me have kids. Oh, did they? Yeah. Okay. yeah mm-hmm. that, and then she gets kids. there and the kids are terrified of her because that was, that was part of her well, argument. I, as to yeah. why she deserves I like that the other Wanda was a witch too. I I was like, mm-hmm. I thought they were gonna go with like she's just a person, and then she's like, F you. Blah. Yeah, she's got her own powers. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think she was just she was still like wanda maximoff before yeah. she became mm-hmm. scarlet witch in in mm-hmm. the one division yeah she, she's but. just our wanda is the one that didn't get her happy ending but yeah. everything up yeah. to that was the same well she chose that because uh, well everyone who's seen one division knows what happened but in it pretty much i'm assuming even in these other universes the kids are not real um i don't know that i can't assume that what Vision is real? wasn't. They, I mean, the one that she went to, Vision wasn't there. In, in no, but, that universe, but those kids real. are old. Well, well he, he wasn't like, there because you know. he was at the office. <laughs> I mean, she, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, whether she creates them with sperm and a uterus or out of her mind with magic, what makes them not real? Yeah, yeah. I think. I, I, yeah, that's why. I mean, what is real? I mean, they're well, there. You I'll, know what I'll, I mean. You know what I mean. But I'll, I'll say this: if this movie had come out before I became a parent. I wouldn't have it probably wouldn't have resonated as much with me as it did because mm-hmm. i can you know i can totally relate to wanda i i you know i would tear the multiverse evil. apart to get my kids i you know yeah if if i was you know if, if it was a matter of saving my child i would go at least as far as she did probably more uh so i could totally get mm. that um you know and and the way that elizabeth olsen olsen portrayed it it was not you know <laughs> I, I the subtlety she <laughs> she portrayed it with was beautiful mm-hmm. and i you know at the end you know she brings the, the 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 mountain down on top of her and we see that red flash I don't know that she's dead, and I don't know that I want her to be dead. No, I don't. I, I, think I don't think she's again. dead either. I think they've left a big, big door for for bringing that character back. I think mm-hmm. that be, because she's she's been a hero all the way up until then, and then, and then now she's turning into the villain. I, I would hate for there not to be some sort of redemption. Yeah, yeah, especially since Vision is out there again, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I love the portrayal you know like I said before you know y- yes she did a great job of, of playing you know on the edge of insane but I was I, I was rooting for her not to win you know the conflict I kept hoping that they would bring her back right. a lot more so than I ever rooted for any dark Jedi or anything like that Yeah, uh, I, I really related to her character and I wanted her to be saved mm. And I really love the ambiguity of the end that we don't know if she was or not. But she she did ultimately realize that what she was doing was not in the best interest of her children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and she, you know, I don't want to say she sacrificed herself because we don't know, but she she stopped when she realized that what she was doing was hurting her children. And I so get that. Yeah. As a parent, I, I so dig it. And that's a that's a, a a subtlety I didn't expect from a Marvel movie. I do like that. Well, ever since these Disney Plus series have started, not subtlety new ones. Sorry, that's been a, what I wanted. Yeah. A couple of years, I guess. Subtle since, difference since we started seeing yeah. the, uh, a lot of. Well, Disney Plus has been out for two or three years, but the Marvel shows that have started within the last couple of years. Uh, there's been this question of do you need to watch these shows to know what's going on in the movies? Yes, and yeah. we've always yes, you do. we've always been like, <laughs> uh, you know. But yeah, I think you you need to at least have seen one division 
I, I would say you probably need to see WandaVision, Loki, and What If. Well, Loki yeah, wasn't really a factor. Um, not yet, I, but I mean, I it's you, part you of the space war WandaVision multiverse for stuff. all my bitching about it. Uh, you definitely need to have seen WandaVision to, to appreciate this. Yeah, I had to you're keep... bitching about it, meaning WandaVision itself Wanda... or the fact that you have the, to do homework? The, the, the first like half of WandaVision, I complained incessantly. And... <laughs> right, but afterward, yeah. you saw the whole like thing. The you didn't like the classic TV yeah. motif. Yeah. Yeah. The, the worst thing about this movie is that you probably need to watch WandaVision beforehand. <laughs> like, WandaVision yeah, was yeah. just trash until like the last episode to me. I know a lot okay, of people loved okay. it. I know a lot of people loved it, but I just yeah, I could not get into it. And even and like my co-host on the Star Trek universe is like, man, I thought you'd be really into it because you like all those old shows. I'm like, I, I've seen all those old shows. I don't need to keep watching these old shows. Like, <laughs> that I don't was need what I was saying. Five <laughs> episodes <laughs> of like now we're doing the Brady Bunch. Yeah, you know, I've seen the Brady Bunch. I don't give a well, shit. Well, no, I mean, I liked, I liked <laughs> to watch Marvel here. I like the way that they blended <laughs> in into the like the old aesthetic of uh, TV shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. The first two episodes, I did. I mean, they they were just straight up doing an old sitcom. Yeah, yeah. you know, there there was no. Good with it. Yeah, one, one was, was like Ozzy and Harriet, and then the next one was Bewitched, and then the next one was Brady Bunch, and the, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, we. I mean, later on, they started just this backdrop with all this other stuff uh, coming up, and then you know bringing in the um, Quicksilver. And then him not being Quicksilver. Yeah, that uh, was a, like, oh god. <laughs> I like one now. Yeah, I it did was, too. It, it was kind of like if on you go the... back and, and listen, I I was saying exactly what you just said about Wandavision <laughs> for like the first five yeah. episodes, and then it was finally like, all right, now yeah. I'm getting it. But and so then he kept like to... hinting at stuff, but like giving us the same hints. It was like, okay, we heard a voice, on, a staticky voice on the radio. <laughs> yeah, what, what the hell right. is that supposed? To... I don't give a shit. Just give me the, tell, tell me the story. Stop. I don't care about. <laughs> I was trying to remember when we were talking about, so uh, much. when we were talking about Star Trek Picard a couple of weeks ago, when they did the episode that had Agent Wells on it, yeah. I was trying to think, where have they done this crap to us before? Oh, it was the Quicksilver thing on one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And All like, right. it, it cracks me up because like so many of the people who loved WandaVision, are like livid now over this Doctor Strange movie. Like they turned her character into a killer for no reason. No what reason. Did you watch? Reason. There did was you a watch One Division? <laughs> right? Lost everything. Yeah, she yeah. lost yeah. the clear arc. <laughs> like, did, did you guys forget to watch the end credit scene of One Division? Right, yeah. right. Did you see her with the dark hold? Yeah. And <laughs> like uh, me and one of my listeners uh, became a friend of mine over the years. Uh, he. We, we were both in this marvel group and we were just saying like like we basically just left the group because we were getting shit on uh. from people because we were like don't expect wanda to have been completely like, she's not turned around at the end of wandavision she's pretty like, messed up yeah she's <laughs> going to the dark side right. <laughs> and they well. were like you didn't watch it i'm like you didn't watch it look at the insane <laughs> i mean she's like, literally two different said. people right now they're <laughs> yeah, like she- I'm like in the source material, she goes back and forth, good to evil, back mm-hmm. to good, back to evil. It's actually like I know everyone's having this conversation about like she there were no consequences for Wanda. No, there weren't. And that's often the thing in the comics of like, hey, she just murdered a bunch of people. Yeah, but she wasn't herself. <laughs> <laughs> she's back on the lunch box at straight. She, had a, she, had a bad day. she was so feeling like, bad that day. Like, look, she's got some mental issues because of all this magic shit. She she's <laughs> And, and and now the, you know those people are like I can't believe they did that. You didn't listen to us. No, there was you a didn't. Scene in the cabin <laughs> <laughs> when she's floating and it, oh jeez. Yeah. And there's I don't know this a, shit. Um, and I saw it's supposed to be a Disney yeah. Plus series, uh, and they're supposed to be giving Agatha Harkness a, a, a series. Yeah, it's supposed to be out in the yeah. fall. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm wondering if that's going to be where we see Wanda. It's, it's just her saying "I told you so" for six episodes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. Doing and a lot of that music. theme song over and over. Oh again. yeah, she's got. She she definitely will do some musical numbers because Catherine <laughs> Catherine Hahn will do a musical number. Oh yes, oh, yeah. I I want to see an episode with her and Selena Go not Selena Gomez um the the Missy from Doctor Who Gomez um Michelle oh. Gomez Michelle, Michelle Gomez. Gomez 
that actually that would, her character from Doctor from the Doom Patrol would be perfect. That would be so great to see the two of them together. And and while since we mentioned it, Selena Gomez, I'd be okay with too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I that. only murders in the building is fantastic. No, it's a, wonderful. No spoilers. Still haven't seen it. Uh, you haven't well, seen get it. On that. Get no, on that. I know. There's a lot of view. there's a lot of content to view these days. I don't know if you guys are. <laughs> Luckily, don't, mm-hmm. don't spoil the show that's been out for a year. <laughs> that's why I said something. Luckily, John, I wasn't going to spoil it because I don't remember what happened. <laughs> and you I'll have to go back. Mystery all over again. I'll I have to know, go back. And I do know <laughs> season recap. two is coming up rather quickly. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's supposed to be out probably in the fall. By the way, I, I know we're t- we're talking about. Uh, uh, Doctor Strange, but have you Uh-oh. all seen what's going on with Doctor Who? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who the new Doctor is, you mean? Yes, who, I was like, Doctor Swoo! is. And <laughs> I've, and I've not watched. I've not watched the last thing. The 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 boating the boat. <laughs> oh, you don't want to. You don't want to. It's it's terrible. bad. It's awful. it's awful. Oh, that's too it's, bad. Uh, you don't you don't need to. Well, okay, you need to watch like the last ten minutes. Um. I'll, I'll watch it. I just haven't. Yeah, it's it's. Just, I watched it. I've seen. We don't I've know seen, what I've went wrong. Worse. It it <laughs> seems it seemed like they thought they had fifty minutes, and then they got told, "No, you have forty minutes." There's like mm-hmm. a scene missing. Yeah, I feel um, like there was something mm-hmm. weird. Going something, on. something went really weird with the episode. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but we we've, we've got a new doctor who is a person of color and is openly gay. Um, well, the I doctor is gay or the actor is gay? The actor is gay. Yeah. Is gay. Um, and they just announced their new companion who is black. And uh, there's also a, in the, I think they've got the, what is it? The 60th anniversary thing is coming up mm-hmm. and they're bringing mm-hmm. back David next Tennant year, and yeah. Catherine Tate. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I mean, yeah. November of next year will be the 60th. So there's like, <laughs> And and Russell T Davies is taking over, and they've moved operations to Cardiff, and mm. he's basically holding up fourteen <laughs> middle fingers to the entire internet every day lately. It's awesome. Yeah. I have a I have a few uh, trivia things from uh, Dark Strange I wanted to share. Oh, all right. <laughs> Elizabeth Elizabeth Olsen uh, flew to London to work on this film two days after she finished filming WandaVision. So. Oh, okay. I guess she was still in costume. Yeah, I was about to say. She was, <laughs> she was, she was <laughs> much I, you know, I, I did notice that, you know, she had complained about the outfit they put her in in the Marvel movies that showed too much cleavage. And I noticed there was like none in, in yeah. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Sam Raimi initially didn't want to direct any uh, superhero movies because he lost faith in, in himself after the. The third start the backlash film? from spider-man 3 yeah, yeah. uh but that was most that was mostly due to studio interference yeah that was but sony did he really him. lose faith in himself or did he was just like i don't want i don't need this, this shit, shit yeah. anymore yeah i think he was just tired of it <laughs> i ain't working i make sony indie anymore. films this is why this is why i make indie films this is the marvel first. went see this pickup truck full of money <laughs> yeah <laughs> This is it the first uh, film that he directed in the last nine years since Oz the Great and Powerful from 2013. Oh, God. That oh, was now awful. that he should be ashamed of. Yeah, oh, he yeah. should. That was awful. So bad. I liked that I movie. Liked those, I, I hated <laughs> that movie so much. That I movie was, was just fine. That movie was delightful, and I was looking forward to a sequel. <laughs> I wouldn't have been mad at a sequel. There you go, Dave. There you go. I love, I love <laughs> podcasting with you guys because there's always such strange bedfellows. I hated this. I hated this. I liked it. I liked it. Really? You like that? I like that too. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was I, like I said, I've seen worse. Um, no, no, it's too late to jump on the on the light train, Sean. <laughs> Stop trying to get I was saying I like at the same time you were saying you like now, I, no I did was cry to me. when the, the porcelain doll chick broke up or whatever but i cry um, commercials now so oh wow the, the one-eyed tentacle monster is known in the marvel comics as shumagorath yep um okay but it was named from a phrase in a robert e howard short story the curse of the golden skull now that robert e howard okay. was one of the people that wrote in the cthulhu mythos mm-hmm. after uh, um uh, uh, that Lovecraft guy. died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
after uh so due to due to rights issues between marvel and howard's estate they had to rename it gargantos uh because that the, was totally in the movie yeah i don't yeah i don't i don't think they said it's trivia you all, said it was trivia yeah, i did say it was trivia <laughs> mm-hmm. um at one point, Professor Charles Xavier tells Mordo, "Diet Coke and Diet Coke does it <laughs> just just because uh, just because someone uh, stumbles and loses their way doesn't mean that they are lost forever." This is a direct quote from uh, Days of Future Past when uh, uh, old Professor X says that to young Professor X, James McAvoy. So, mm-hmm. um, Doctor Strange so casts in this spell. film. So, is uh, this Professor X the old Professor X or the young Professor X? Yes. This is a variant of a Professor X. Yeah, that's know. all we know. Right, um, that's unhelpful. All right. Doctor Strange <laughs> casts a spell on Pizza Papa, on the Pizza Papa vendor, played by Bruce Campbell, that causes him to punch himself in the face repeatedly. Uh, that happened. I felt in like the that Evil was dead serious. I, I felt like that was was it was like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. I'm like, dude, he the offense was not that bad. He didn't deserve. <laughs> But then there was a post credit scene where he stopped punching himself. Yeah, three weeks later. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have had a day. He could have given him a point. day. Like My that, biggest that problem with too. that is that's when I had to go to the bathroom. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm 60 years old, almost 60 uh, years old. Uh, <laughs> so I, I missed the beginning of that. I came back like, what did I miss? And my wife said, Bruce Campbell was in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the, how much you want to bet that pizza balls are going to be a thing now? I'd like, be okay probably. if they started having cameos of Bruce Campbell instead of instead he should of, be in everything. Honestly, Bruce I'm Campbell surprised they weren't. They didn't sell. They didn't have like a special, like, at the concession stand because they sell pizza, and a pizza ball ain't that hard to make. It's just a pizza ball, like <laughs> the because the, they because they do have like you know like snack food. Special. Yeah, buy I, I, I still got my Black Panther right. cup. <laughs> my Black Panther let, popcorn bucket. Let, let me tell y'all. If Chins Could Kill, which is Bruce Campbell's first autobiography, is a yeah. great book. You need mm. to if, if you're a fan of any of the Evil Dead movies or of Bruce Campbell, read If Chins Could Kill. It's brilliant. I mean, you know, that's why I watched Burn Notice is because Bruce Campbell was in it. it was I started to watch Burn Notice, and then when I found out he wasn't the main character, I stopped. He's one of the main characters, He, he really is. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's in he's, it quite he's a the, bit. He's the equivalent of, like, Alfred. Yeah. And he was yeah, always, so. and his, his, his alternate identity was always Chuck Finley. It was every single time. Yes. <laughs> he had never had any of his, I'm Chuck Finley. Chuck <laughs> Finley. In April. It was a decent um, show. So, anyway. Saudi Arabian film censors demanded 12 seconds of the movie to be cut to be released in their theaters because the the of the scene where America Chavez's parents are revealed to be lesbians. Oh God! Um, Whatever. Marvel and Disney. I love, I love how that's the most offensive thing to you in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> really? Marvel and Disney uh, <laughs> refused to Captain cut Carter anything. So yeah, I don't I don't know if it was. Well, it was already enough. Arabia she out. had she had a pride pin on her jacket. I mean, come on, yeah. people. Get your, get your Mario coin ready. <laughs> Fuck Saudi America, uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh no, I'm tired. It's Monday. Uh, <laughs> well, it's Monday. it's Monday. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. the authorities. Not the no, police. fuck Saudi Arabia. They, <laughs> they just need to all. Well, all right. Maybe you're right. It's I, not the just there are other Arabia countries that don't like to either. all just die. Sorry. I I doubt we're being heard oh, in Saudi Arabia. No, right? we're not <laughs> Probably um, not, no. In the living room of the alternate Wanda, uh, the TV is showing a cartoon featuring Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Walt Disney invented that character in the 20s, but when Universal Universal took Universal Pictures took rights to Oswald away from him, and Disney invented Mickey Mouse instead, who soon completely eclipsed Oswald in popularity. So in this in this reality that they went to mickey mouse had never been invented i guess and oh, oswald okay. was still popular so fuck mickey oh sorry. Since, we're, since we're plugging other things i will plug uh epic mickey and epic mickey 2 <laughs> where oswald the rabbit is is a playable character um john okay. Kras- john krasinski was under consideration to play the title character in captain america the first avenger which uh featured his brother-in-law stan stanley tucci uh his wife why did not 
his mm-hmm. wife Emily Blunt was originally cast as Natasha Romanoff but had to refuse the role because she was con- contractually obligated to another film um and then I wrote down that um they they definitely reference sliders in this movie oh Manly yeah Tucci was the best <laughs> puck ever oh I agree I agree I, sh- I have that movie on dvd <laughs> and the what's the what was the name of the Tom Cruise movie where they kept doing the Groundhog Day thing that Emily uh, Blunt edge, of, edge of tomorrow, edge slash tomorrow. Edge of tomorrow. She was yeah. great in that movie too. I love her in that movie. Yeah. Uh, I think they're supposed to be making a sequel with her. Tom Cruise isn't going to be in it. It's just going to be uh, her. I heard. Yeah, they were doing a sequel. I didn't know that it, he wasn't going to be in it. So, okay. <laughs> what are they going to say that it is a sequel to? Because I have seen at least three different titles for that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, they, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know why they changed the title when they released it to Blu-ray or, or whatever. Yeah, but because it just they don't even have Edge of Tomorrow on the it's just called Live Die Repeat. Yeah. It's yeah. just <laughs> dumb. It's just a stupid like a, title. I feel like yeah. I feel like somebody just made a, a terrible clerical error and they <laughs> transposed the tagline with the title. Well it's like when 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 Die Hard 2 was out in theaters, it was called Die Hard 2. But if you buy the movie now, it's just called Die Harder. Yeah. Well, you know, Star Wars was Star Wars until yeah, it wasn't a new hope until way later. Do you, do you guys know what, what Edge of Tomorrow's original name was when it was a? I think it was a manga. It was a manga. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, Tom Cruise is a no. Anyway, it was called. <laughs> it was called All You Need Is Kill. Yep. Kill. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that was the same thing. I've heard that title. I didn't know that's what that was. Yeah. It's called Kill Dog yeah. Day. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So uh, apparently, acor- uh, according to this, uh, a couple of different sites I've read uh, in that two hour and 40 minute cut of Sam Raimi's, the first scene is Prime Mordo tracking down Wanda as she beheads him. See, I would have, I would have paid to see that. <laughs> Who's Mordo? That would have been great. <laughs> uh, Elijah Ford. Cheerwell, Edgy of Ford's oh, oh, okay. <sighs> yeah. All right, she, she, she would tell Edgio for yeah, you know, yes, the operative from Serenity, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, right. I love him, I can never say his name, yeah. <laughs> I've he was, have y'all seen Kinky, Kinky Boots? I love Kinky Boots, I'm amazing in Kinky Boots. Really <laughs> I haven't seen and, that movie, that... but I have seen lots of Kinky Boots. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's he, him in know... um, The Man Who Fell to Earth, right? The new show, and that him too, is he? Yeah, I think is so. Is that him? Oh, yeah. I don't know because I I haven't seen you know it, it's a it's a musical now mm-hmm. yeah but it was originally just this yes, little indie him. movie that is brilliant and he was he was the he was the, the main cross dresser in it yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. oh the play was based on the movie yeah, yeah. oh I didn't know that yeah that was the other way around nope, nope. my uh, when I'm we, learning so much, you guys. Thanks. Get back, your head out of your the, ass, the, John. I can. <laughs> everyone knows okay. that. <laughs> Back in the pre-internet days, back in the pre-streaming days, uh, my wife used to just kind of go to Blockbuster and just say, you know, pick up something that looked interesting. So mm-hmm. she brought home Kinky Boots one day. She brought home uh, what was that one with with Helen Mirren and the and the Calendar Girls? Calendar Girls. Calendar Girls. Calendar Girls. Calendar Girls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just movies I would have never thought to watch, but Emily was like, "Oh, this looks like fun," and you know, they're wonderful. And mm-hmm. Kinky Boots is a brilliant film. It's a really good movie. I, I have yes, seen the play. He is, but the uh, movie he is, in is the, wonderful. He is in the Man Who Fell to Earth. I already said that, Sean. <laughs> he was. I was. I was very. Come on! Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> He's also going to be in Old Guard Two coming out next year. Oh, and and the Full Monty. She also brought home the Full Monty. Which he I wasn't. In, he wasn't in that. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't in that. Wife no. just brings home a lot of nudity, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This looks like this might be male porn. Does it? Does this movie have ne- have nudity in it? Okay, I will. I will. I will, <laughs> I will rent it. Like male nudity and old people. Naked. By the way, I, lots I, of peens and vahines, as they if say. If Helen Mirren wants to take her clothes off and get in front of a camera, I don't care how old she is. We we Gee. um we watch. <laughs> My wife is laughing. <laughs> That's on you, buddy. We watched the um the That's on you first episode of the Time Traveler's Wife last night. <laughs> Uh, the, on, the show on, yeah on hbo mm-hmm. max and it was really good um see, the I, I read the book and i saw the movie when you see what, the what, when you see the main that? the main actor if you time want, traveler's wife if Rick, you oh. want to see yeah it's called the time traveler's wife 
And if you want to see his naked rear end, you get a chance about 30 times in that, ep- <laughs> in, that epi- in that one episode. So who is oh, this? Uh, uh, what's his name let me let me look it up i can't remember i gotta name. look it up yeah, but, yeah the, my series. the show oh, is yeah. the show is done by stephen moffat oh theo james theo james it was, james. It was really it's good it was really good you know is that who's because got a really nice travels he goes naked is, uh, or it's just coincidental <laughs> are, are we, are we are comparing asses think, now what so is this Tom yeah, Hiddleston his, in uh in in what what's the one where he was like the the, the spy night shift or night man the night it man. was night, night manager, manager. Night manager. Night manager. yeah you see that's a really good the, 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 wow yes yes and, and he yeah <laughs> yeah Theo James I'm sorry I thought we were, I thought, <laughs> I'm on the wrong episode I thought the theme was oh you Dr. missed Strange. earlier while we were all talking about Ethan Peck okay, he was in the he was in an episode of The Witcher and he he's done some voice acting and stuff but uh he, he was in Castlevania uh Theo James, yeah, he's but San Sandition is the TV series he did before this. Now he's in the time travel as well. And I think yeah. it's gonna be a six ep- it's gonna be a six episode series. But the mm-hmm. first episode was really good. I liked it. It was better that first episode was better than the movie. You know. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. So. <laughs> uh okay. Well, uh Rick, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you? Uh you can find me various places around the infinite potato alliance you can find me on starbase 66 or open the iris which is our stargate sg1 watch along podcast you can find me on the cosmic potato from time to time (laughs) i get the name right this time uh or uh you know just check it out i occasionally just pop up in uh unexpected places it's not called the cosmic potato (laughs) Oh, for Christ! <laughs> I was wondering that now because I wasn't Choose on the last. I wasn't on the last thing you at the end of the last ep- uh, at the end of the start at the end of the Star Trek show. Uh, Rick and Jim both said that from time to yeah, time said, they can be heard yeah. on Infinite Potato. I, I got the name wrong. Yes, so. I did too. Yeah, blame me. Okay. All right, Jen. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And I'm pretty much where Rick is, even though I said it wrong too. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right john thanks for joining us where Thank can we you. find you um you can listen to me on my show uh captain game show the trivia wordplay podcast on the network as well as uh on other episodes on other shows on the uh, infinite potato alliance <laughs> all right <Thanks>. cosmic potato <laughs> dave thanks for joining us where can we find you sir you can uh, find me luxuriating uh, in the restroom after eating the <laughs> steak white hot ranch nacho fries from Taco Bell. You can also find me on Star Trek Universe podcast or um, DC on screen where we talk about the DC multiverse on film and television. And if you like uh, mediocre art, drawing with Dave on Instagram. Uh, it's not mediocre it's not it's, it's good really art good. it's actually really good art it is very good oh thank you thank you all He's i was fishing for them compliments <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you if it helps you it doesn't one one or two are, <laughs> are bad okay but you on know. average it's very good you can find mm. me and about Tell me which ones i will not <laughs> <laughs> You can find me in about two minutes trying to figure out who the hell turned off the air conditioner in this apartment. <laughs> it Other was than that, spoiler. Either that or Grace. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was either you, though. the baby, or your wife. And the baby probably didn't do it, and you've been here the whole time. So I I did, if the baby was awake, he would be a prime suspect. <laughs> because he can <laughs> reach it. Oh, probably no. reach it. Yeah. Out here. Oh, if okay. It, if it gets really, really hot in here or really, really cold in here, it's because he went and reached one of the buttons and hit it five times. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same uh, thing my wife says, and we don't have children. So she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, be, I'll be like, God, it's hot in here. And then like, I'll just get up. And then like an hour later, she's like, why is it so cold? And I'm like, measures <laughs> had to be taken. <laughs> Well, I mean, usually my wife, my wife will say, it's really cold in here. And I was like, there's a blanket on the bed. <laughs> yeah. To the moon, Alice. All right. That's, uh, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, if you want to know how to get in touch with us, just stay tuned. And announcer Nate will let you know in just a moment. 
Thank you all for listening. Be sure to join us next time on Cosmic Potato, the super fan talk podcast, when you might hear John say. Uh, I'm just going to. Might hear him say that. I'm just going to um, put my, put my, um, cast my vote right now that the next movie we watch for Patreon is Dark Man and Dark Man 2 and Dark Man 3. <laughs> Oh, there, are, there is three of them. Oh my yeah. gosh! The dark, the dark man trilogy. Which one is go. die? Dark man die. That's the third one. That's, That's the, the third okay. one. Because I there were like die. five of them. I thought, but, yeah. <laughs> and that one, I think, was straight to video. Yeah, it, it was. was. It was. Yeah. The second one was the return of Durant. <laughs> yeah. Which was. Did, yeah. Sam Raimi didn't do the third one, did he? I don't huh? think he did the second one. He did not do the second or yeah. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, he wouldn't. He was only on the first one. That's why we should I'd, watch. I'd be That's down for, for Evil Dead too. No. no. <laughs> oh my no. god! Y'all should do I, all I, the I, Evil I, Dead. No, we're not going to do stuff that we've all seen a hundred times I, <laughs> recently. <laughs> I, I saw Dark Man in the cinema. So did I. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen yeah. Dark Man since the 90s. No. The what 90s. about the? I was like, why isn't that dude dead? Why is he a superhero? <laughs> what about the power. Evil Dead reboot? No, no, no. That was, that, I the thought show? it was really good. No, no, it was, no I can't do body. I, know, I didn't like see that. it. No, no the horror was. I don't do. <laughs> I don't do it either. No, thank you. Yeah, no. I mean, I thought it was really, really solid. I'm sure it I was. Seen, but I haven't seen it. I, I like horror, but I haven't seen. There was that no one. Play-Doh involved in the real in the yeah, remake. Yeah, <laughs> and I I no love one. I love Jane Levy. She's fantastic. Um, I really hoped that they were going to have like her and Ash team up across the multiverse because that was a thing that they were talking about for a second. They were actually going to do like multiverse stuff in Ash vs Evil Dead as well, mm-hmm. and they thought like like I think Bob Tapert thought like yeah they won't get it. people won't the audience will be uh, they were going to do like uh, the Army of Darkness director's cut Ash meets the uh, theatrical cut oh, Ash nice. and be like oh and then it would have been in like hey you know all these continuity errors and all the evil dead movies these are all different universes where the demons keep turning back time and creating alternate realities that's Dude, so good you that know how <laughs> much that is up my alley that's like, so good same. Yeah, that's I, similar I, I to watched... the uh that's similar to the explanation that they were going that they were trying to put together for the terminator series and mm-hmm. like all of them are real. They just all happened in separate timelines. Like I, I watched like the first three episodes of of Ash versus the Evil Dead, and it just got so repetitive. I just got bored with it. Uh, right around um, the third episode is where it starts to change. So I, yeah, I understand. Changed, yeah, yeah. But, yeah you you like, haven't lived I, I until subscribed you subscribed to Stars for it, and and it got. It, I was like, is this all it is? It's no, just no. You had to keep going. Again. You had to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Stars is 16 bucks a month. That shit's expensive. I don't think it's on Stars. I think you can get it like on it Netflix. Was. You, or you can get now. it on Amazon or something. You now. can go to Walmart and get it on DVD for 20 bucks. <laughs> the whole series. You can get it from Scott's house for a dollar. 